All right, thanks for joining me. And today we're going to talk about one of those difficulties that people run into when they're using Google Drive, and that is how do you get apps that normally don't work with Google Drive, how do you get documents from those apps into your Google Drive account so that students can, say, turn in a keynote presentation or a PowerPoint presentation? So if you're not using Google Slides and you are using Keynote, let's take a look at that. I'm going to click on my Keynote app and open that up and it just so happens that I've created uh, just one of the plain Jane demo presentations um, on Keynote and I want to get that in my Google account so the way I do that is at the top left of the screen you'll see that there's a little box with an arrow pointing upward. I'm going to click on that and what this allows me to do is open my presentation in another app and that's exactly what I want to do and then it says select a presentation so I'm going to click on my demo presentation and it gives me a few options here now if you're going to upload this into Google Drive and then turn it in as an assignment on Google Classroom you might want to make it a PDF or a PowerPoint if you're not a Mac user uh, but if you're a Mac user you could always choose Keynote I'm going to choose PowerPoint so that it converts it to a format that my teacher can view and grade it creates the presentation and then now it asks me to choose the app that I want to open this in so I'll slide over and I'm going to choose open in Drive and now it flips over to Google Drive and it gives me a box where I can upload my item to Google Drive and I'm uploading it now and that's it now it says upload complete and if I go through and and search for it later on I'll find my presentation in PowerPoint format uh, and here it is right here on December 10th 2014 that's when I uploaded it uh, there's my presentation so now if I want to turn that in all I have to do is go to Google Classroom and then click to upload from my Google Drive and I can turn that assignment in very quick and simple um, if you wanted to do this with Google Slides you don't even have to go through these steps because it automatically puts it in your Google Drive account but when you are working on things like keynote presentations or you're working in um, an iOS approved app that runs PowerPoint it becomes a little bit more difficult so that's the quick and easy part of it if you have more questions let me know and look for our next video